Setting up and using email. The BrailleSense email client can be accessed from the main menu. File manager, F. I just press the F1 to go to the file manager. And I know that the hot key or shortcut key rather to launch the email application from the main menu is the letter E. So I'll press that now. Getting new message list. And I do have one account set up. Uh, it is my work account right Unread now. Subject, ACB convention, convention okay, so I, I see I've got something ACB regarding the ACB convention, convention coming up here at the recording Tuesday. of this tutorial. And um, let's say that I want to go ahead and set up a couple of uh, other accounts on this device. So um, there are three different types of accounts that you can set up on the BrailleSense. They are POP3 and IMAP. Uh, the difference between POP3 and IMAP is that POP3 downloads your email to the uh, BrailleSense. And then when you delete one from your BrailleSense, depending on how you've got things set up, um, with your other devices, uh, you, you may have to delete them multiple times. With IMAP, regardless of the device that you're using, once you view an email message and you forward it or reply or delete it, it, it is done everywhere and that is reflected everywhere. So it's my preference to uh, set up IMAP for my Gmail account. And the third account that I mentioned was the Exchange, Microsoft Exchange accounts. And this was a very hotly requested addition to the email client because of all the professional folks out there that have uh, enterprise accounts or uh, even uh, uh, 365, you know, Office 365 accounts and um, have access to Exchange email. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu system. Remember the hotkey uh, for getting into the menu system in all of the HIMSS applications, or most of them anyways, is F2. File, F, pull down menu. I hear file, pull down menu, and I'm just going to space F4 down through here. E, pull down menu, tools, T, pull down menu. And this is where I'm going to go to uh, set up my account. Account manager, M, dialog, enter M menu item. So account manager is the first item in this list, and I'm going to press enter on that. Accounts manager dialog. Account name, work one one list item. And I see that I've already got one account in here, and it is called work. If I tab, I can either, you know, press space with dots four or five, or the F3 key for tab. Information, enter I, dialog button. I can get in and see the information relative to this account. Add, enter A, dialog button. I can add a new account. Modify, enter M, dialog button. I can modify. Delete, space D, button. Or of course I can delete an account. I'm gonna press space F3 to go the other direction. Modify, enter M, Because dialog I would button. like to add Ed, enter a, my personal button. Gmail account, so I'll press enter on that. Default, default mail server, pop free radio button. And the first choice I have is to pick the default mail server. Uh, it's on pop three, and if I press the space bar, IMAP radio button. I th see that I cycle between pop three, IMAP, exchange radio button. and exchange. Uh, this is going to be an IMAP three radio button. account. IMAP radio button. So uh, I press space until I selected that, and I'm going to tab on to the next control. Server type, manual 1-4 list item. And I've got four choices here, and it's asking me for the server type. So I've got to press space with dot four. Google 2-4 list item. Google is the second choice. That's what I want, but let's just see what we've got. Let's just see what else we have here. Outlook 3-4 list item. There's Outlook. Samnet 4 4 list item. And there's Samnet. Okay, so let's go up to Outlook 3 4 Google 2 4 list item. Google and tab on. Account name Google Edit Box. And I'm going to call this um, Earl's. And I've got this uh, set up for computer Braille. I can simply cycle between the, uh, the type of Braille that I prefer with space G. Uncontracted Braille. Uncontracted. Account and contracted Braille. Um, Account name contracted. Google Edit Box. Computer Braille. And computer Account Braille. Name, I prefer. Computer Braille when I'm I'm doing things like this. So 
uh, I'll just go ahead and type in um, space with the backspace and the letter E to capitalize. Capital E. Uh, and my name. A R L E. Uh, Earl. Earl. Personal. P E R S O N A L. Okay, I'm going to tab on. Display name, edit box. And I'll just write my name here. Capital E. A R L E. Earl. Capital H. A R R I S O N. And tab on. Email address, computer edit box. And here's where I'll put in my uh, email address. H A R R I S O N. E A R L E. At. I press space with backspace and dot four to issue the at sign. And I'm going to type gmail.com. G M A I L period C O M. Log one username, computer edit box. And the long on username is the same as my email address. H E Oops. E A R R I S O N E A R L E at G M A I L period C O M. Password, computer edit box. Here's my password field. Asterisk, asterisk, aster, asterisk, 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 asterisk. Incoming IMAP server, imogmail.com, computer edit box. And it's already populated the incoming IMAP server, so I'm going to leave that the same. Outgoing SMTP server, smtpgmail.com, computer edit box. Same with the outgoing SMTP. Advanced button. And I'm going to actually press the advanced button because I happen to know. Secure IMAP, IMAP SSL, yes radio button. Uh, the secure IMAP that's already selected. IMAP port number 993 edit box. 993 is the um, uh, the port number. SMTP encryption type, TLS radio button. And this is TLS. Uh, SMTP port number 587 edit box. You know, that should work actually. Um, it seems that it's my enterprise account that I needed to go back here. SMTP encryption type, TLS radio button. And switch this to... The radio button. SSL radio button. SSL, in which case my port number will change automatically to... SMTP port number, 465 edit box. Okay, so I, I think with my personal account, either one of these SMTP will work. SMTP encryption type, SSL so radio, TLS radio button. I'll just go ahead and uh, pick TLS here. SMTP port number, SMTP username, oh, SMTP see. port number, 587 edit box. And we're back to 587 for the SMTP port number. SMTP username, computer edit box. SMTP username, well, same as uh, my my username, so I'm going to type in H A R R I S O N. E A R L E at G M A I L period C O M S M T P password computer edit box. Again with the password. Asterisk asterisk aster aster asterisk asterisk aster aster asterisk asterisk aster asterisk asterisk use signature no list item. And for now I'm gonna say yeah no signature that's fine. Signature button. Confirm button. And confirm. Advance button. Confirm button. So I got out of the advance, and I've got another confirm button that I've tabbed to. I'll press enter. Checking account. And hopefully this Successfully will... added account. Ah. Account name, world personal to to list item. So that was successfully added. Um, well, let's go ahead and add a, another account. Information, enter I, dialog button. Add, enter A, dialog button. This time I'm going to add my exchange account. The default mail server, pop free radio button, IMAP radio button. Because I've got a, a 365, Office 365 account. Exchange radio button. And so I'm going to select Exchange. Account name, edit box. And I'm going to call it Earl Exchange. Capital E. A. R. L. E. Earl. Capital E. X. C. F. Oops. F. H. H. A. A. N. G. E. Exchange server Earl. Computer edit box. And I'm simply going to type in... Outlook.com for the Exchange Server URL. O U T L O O K period C O M. Log one username computer edit box. Log on username is H A R R I S O N E A R L E M at O U T L O O K period. C O M 
Password, computer edit box. Password, what is this one? Asterisk. Asterisk. Aster aster asterisk. 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 Advanced button. And I don't need the advanced uh, confirm button. button. I'm just going to confirm this and Checking hope for account. the best. I get my little progress beeps and I see across the successfully display, added account. Account name. Roll exchange. Uh, the little item. full cells dancing across this, the display while it's thinking, and I have added a another account here. Now, going back to your Gmail account, with my enterprise account, uh, I needed to use something called two-factor authentication. And that means that after I've signed on, I'm going to be sent a, uh, a code on my, my phone, the one that I specified when I set up the account. And I've got to go in and retype that code in order to access the uh, uh, the email account. With my personal one, all I had to do is uh, go into the settings under Gmail. So if you have the, gr the Chrome browser installed on your computer, you can go to Applications and Gmail, and then under Settings and Security, there is an option to uh, check a checkbox that says Allow Less Secure devices. Uh, everybody, it seems to be different. Some re some accounts require uh, two-factor authentication. Others require that you come up with what's referred to as an app-specific password, uh, in which case you can have one automatically generated on that same page that I was just talking about under security. Um, do write down your app specific password in, in fact write down whatever your password is somewhere keep it somewhere where if you do have to call hims technical support you know that information because if you don't know your username or your password there's really nothing we can do for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bail out of the account um Manager under tools here on red subject ACV convention convention preview, and I'm going to affiliate spotlight shift ACV tab from or Jared I guess I could press uh, space with F3 mailbox inbox 619 list item. I hear that I've got 19 uh, uh, different mailboxes different folders sitting out there on the uh, Google server account name work one three list item and now instead of only one account I've got three I'll go ahead and Personal two three list item. Go down to my personal email. There's Real exchange three three and there's my exchange item. one that I've just added. Let's see what happens. Roll personal two three list uh, item. under personal. I'm gonna tab into the list. Receiving mailboxes. It says receiving mailbox, mailboxes. Inbox three twenty one list item. And I've got twenty one uh, in um, mailboxes here, uh, such as drafts and sent items and. Um, junk and things like that. I'm going to tab one more time Getting and new message list. it's going to bring up all my most recent messages here. Unread subject. Get support managing diabetes and hypertension from okay. Disease Management Disease MGM. I get all kinds of stuff like this. All kinds of advice in my personal mailbox. And um, so I don't want this message. So I, I think I'd just like to get rid of it. Instead of Pressing space D to delete the message uh, and then have the, the list redrawn because remember, we're working online here with an IMAP server. I'm going to select it by pressing the space bar on it. Selected unread subject. Get support managing And I'm going to down arrow, or in other words, disease, press MGM, space with dot four. Selected unread subject. Get support managing diabetes and hypertension from. Oh, disease, I'm sorry, up disease, arrow because MGM, the, the care, most day, recent Tuesday, June 8th, messages show up at the bottom of this list. Unread subject. Meet our new fast, flavorful chicken from Schwann's home delivery. Ooh, new fast, flavorful from chicken from Schwann's. We do love Schwann's, but we're going to press space to say no. We're not interested in that message. Subject FW, you've been invited to an interview. Okay, so I was invited to an interview. Jenny, I'll keep subject, that one. Three, rail sense six beta, still can't um, download some subject. Rail sense six beta, still yeah, can't get some subject. Here's a recap of everything we announced at WWDC 21. Here's a recap of everything we, <laughs> we announced Monday, at WWDC. 
see the Apple event. FW Newswire Tech Talk meeting of six seven twenty one at eight. And this event has passed, so I, I, I did that last night. Subject, I'm gonna FW, select it because that is no longer valid. Subject. Homes up to 350,000 from... And there's homes up to 350,000. Your new Brighton MN update is inside. Okay. Check out these price changes from Kelly Joe Unread. One attached subject. File from Kelly Harrison Harrison. So, subject from SSB. New Metro Transit. Subject. Employee access. Recovered user ID alert from... Subject. FWD. Jenny. Poland, I think that I've um, selected all of the files that I would like to delete. So with that done, I'm going to press space with D. Delete three messages. Yes, prompt button. And I'm being prompted to delete three messages. I'll do Deleting that. Pre messages. Press an enter. And it's it's redrawing my Mail deleted list. successfully. Subject F W D. Okay. Jenny, so, Roland Stewart. Rail so why don't I go ahead and mailbox, shift tab? Three twenty one list item. And by that I mean <laughs> space with F. Three. Account name, Earl Personal Two Three List Item. And I'm going to go down to my exchange list item. account. Receiving mailboxes. Mailbox, inbox four eight list item. Getting new message list. I just tabbed into the message list. And I hear the heart monitor. <laughs> and I see the full braille cells going to class. Let's we'll see if this got set up. Unread okay. has attachment. Okay. Subject. MN Literacy, Anoka Hennepin Schools is hiring for Ezzy. From Jessica Met via MN Literacy, MN Literacy mailman list us date. And I've got some messages from a listserv that I'm on for Minnesota Literacy. Uh, so that is really just kind of a, a quick overview of how to set up email accounts and how to go in and manage your messages. Uh, the one thing we did not do is the most basic thing. We had not read an email message yet. So I'm going to just, on this message, go ahead and press enter. Message body. Anoka Hennepin Schools is hiring special education teachers for elementary extended school year as this summer. And it just automatically starts reading to me. And can be found here HTTPS www.applatrack.com. I can Anoka press default, ask backspace with enter to stop the reading. or And then I can just blissfully read it in silence. using the scroll buttons on either end of my braille display. So that's email. I'm going to back out of here, press F4. Has attachment, subject. I'm MN back literacy. to my list. Anoka Hennepin Schools is hiring for SE. From Jessica Metk via M. And with that, I will end this section and thank you for joining me.